Hey there, Brutal Street Joe here, yet again. Uh, this time I've got something rather interesting because I've never been into one of these before. Um, though I've had something similar. Um, uh, in the Brazilian fashion. Uh, this is not from Brazil, obviously. This is from Portugal. So this is an... Uh, I won't mangle the... Portuguese, but it's obviously a Portuguese uh, army individual combat ration, which is going to be a uh, an 8-hour ration. Uh, menu number two, 1.4 kilograms. Uh, we obviously have English on here. Um, that sort of thing. We have all our details on the back. How to warm it. What do you need? Pick up your trash. What you get? And this is um, made by Jamipsa. Now there's also, you can see there's a sticker on there. Now whether this is similar to other combat rations that they make, and they just obviously have, I mean, there's a sticker on the front and the flag, so whether they just um, label it as a national um, ration Per individual country or whether this is specifically for Portugal I'm not entirely sure but let's uh, see as how I've got my scale front and center and I actually remembered it this time so it's supposed to be uh, 1.4 kilograms hmm. 1280 grams okay so that's not Oh, there we go. 13, 1301, I think. So maybe it's just depending on how she sits. Because maybe it's hanging over the scale. You can see that's fluctuating. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, two pounds, 13 ounces. Dish. Uh, anyway, um, let's get into that. See what we got. Um, I may have to translate. I don't. I don't know. I think it's got a peelable seal. We all know how pathetic I am with peelable seals. Ah, screw it. I don't save the bags anyway, so not a big deal. for an eight hour ration. Obviously we have Butterfingers, we have some tuna. Uh, I'm guessing 111 grams, drained 72. There would be our nutritional information for 100 grams. Or I could just look at the English. Two ounce sunflower oils, four ounces, two and a half ounces, 11 grams, yada yada. Tuna. Sweet biscuits. And obviously this has Arabic on it as well, 55 grams. Another one. A pretty flimsy looking spoon. We have a prepared meal, sterilized product. Uh, with vegetables. Four hundred grams. Um, Banho Maria, which sounds awfully familiar as a bain marie in French, which is a pan with water in it. Almost a double boiler. Uh, bain marie's actually that is a double boiler. Pardon me. Um, so there's our nutrition per hundred grams. Uh, I will definitely translate that. It's vitella con vegetas. Maybe eaten hot or cold. Uh, best before 11th, 2020, which is interesting that they have preparation instructions and yet they do not actually list what it is in English. 
other than this menu too. Um, trash bag. Uh, F R H. Really freaking huge one. Okay, that's interesting. So they tell you that you can heat it in water, and yet they give you a an F R H. Apple juice. I uh, would imagine that that is strawberry, judging by the berries on it. 25 grams. And there is a production and a best before on it. 2017 production, 21 best before. So we're kind of dealing with an out of date one, but oh well. Oh, this is a 12 hour ration. Amenta 1, Amenta 2, Amenta 3, Amenta 4, and this is Amenta 2, so this is, these are your four different menus. And I will put a translation of each up in sequence somewhere over here so that we know what the heck we're dealing with. of our stuff as I jostle the entire all right so that is empty we have a power of natural energy fruit fusion bar non GMO we see our nutritional information on there I'm assuming this is a fig and almond bar because there's figs and almonds on it. Oh, dark chocolate, 25 grams. That's good. Uh, best for 2021. We have some pineapple paste, as opposed to a quince paste. Uh, got some butt ration. Or pretty much looks like Kleenex. Excuse me, we have a wet wipe. And we have a brew kit, which is going to have lemon flavored isotonic drink, 20 grams, 250 mils of water for that one. Oh, we got a second strawberry jam. It's got a way on me there. Uh, we have a second lemon energy drink, or isotonic, pardon me. Um, we have Mama Ines, 100% pure coffee, instant coffee. Uh, it's a two gram, does not say. Two of those. Uh, we have eight grams of sugar. We have one, two, three, four water purification tablets, toothpick. One, two more sugars, a, possibly an inspector number or a lot number. And we have one, two, three. We have a rogue candy, obviously. One, two, three packages of salt. One package of Happy Dent Dental f Gum Xylet. Oh, we have two of those. We have, good lord, we have four salts. So that's four grams of salt. And we have three menthol eucalyptus. Candies, so congratulations, uh, it's original flavor halls. Yummy. Okay, well that is, uh, that's quite the spread. So um, I'll uh, get some translations going and um, 
get this out and then uh, we'll see what we're dealing with. Be right back. Okay, so we got our spread set out here. Um, do the coffee. Uh, again, I couldn't see any sort of measurements on this, so I just went with um, four ounces of water. That is pretty fine. Looks like a spray dry. Blah. Isotonic drink. That one's 250 mils of water. Standard nondescript powder. Use the bump. Um, I know this comes with a straw and everything, but I thought we'd. I'm just going to do it off camera here so I don't get it everywhere. Looks like apple juice. Kind of dark, but the, um, the main is I had it boiling rapidly over here. It's just heating through. Pop our tuna. Wow, that's oily. Smells like tuna. And again, it's in a lot of oil. But uh, yeah, it looks like a flake more than a solid. Uh, I did open the biscuits. Um, they are quite nicely wrapped. I lost a few chunks, but uh, it is what it is. says Tejero but uh, or three out of four stamps that way. Okay, well that's interesting. A little odd, but alright. <sighs> Mm. A little stale, but again, this ration is out of date, so. Um, slightly sweet taste. And there is sugar in there, obviously. It's a lemon, but there's there's no discernible uh, color to that. Coffee. That's nice. Four ounces is good. Um, seems a little bitter, which I don't mind in coffee. This is an eight gram pack of sugar, so maybe half. Hmm. Pretty standard uh, 
size crystal on that, so it's not like like the Russian ones where they're super coarse. Yeah, that's nice. Um, open our strawberry. Of course, like I managed to pull up a corner, but that's about all. Welcome to Struggling with Rations with Joe. And it is a... Yeah, jelly, not a jam. Uh, and yes, I mentioned Kyote, and there he is. Seeing as how this is already broken, let's just uh, continue to struggle with this. Good grief. Try that. Very sweet. Honestly, not a lot of strawberry flavor. Um, the um, vanilla on that was really showing through. So I don't think that would lend itself to a, like, I don't think you'd want to eat your tuna on that, because that's just going to be weird. Your pineapple paste is pretty solid. Tart. Again, very sweet. Not a lot of pineapple flavor, really. Hmm. Try our lemon drink. Very artificially lemon. A little bit of bitterness to it. Again, probably with like a lemon oil. Um, not the best one I've ever had. Apple juice. Kind of watery. Uh, of course, nothing is. Hmm. Obviously, from apple concentrate, shake before drinking. No, I can't read any of that, but I can get the gist. Um, yeah, it's almost good. There's something to that too, whether it's 
a preservative that's in it or it's almost like a chemical taste to it. I don't know. Try our tuna without making a complete mess of this. And I'll just grab a spoonful off camera here because this is just soaking in oil. That's really good. Despite it being like a flaky, that's really good. Yeah, drain that. Little mayo, little salt and pepper. I think I'm having a tuna salad sandwich later. Um, yeah, fruit fusion. Okay, that's interesting. I'm not sure why it's double bagged. Unless it just automatically knew the problems I was having today with things in packages and decided to further frustrate my uh, review. Or this is... Yep. Uh, big on the fumble fingers again. <clears throat> anyway, uh, either that or it's it's sticky or no, it's not sticky. It's like a fruit leather. like the inside of a fig newton just fruit leather um obviously there's just tons of seeds in that so it's okay but if you have a textural problem with that you're gonna have a real problem with that um i'm not gonna use the aqua tabs um but just looking at it uh so for clear water or better water as it translated um, one tab for one liter and for contaminated water uh, one tab for um, 500 uh, milliliters so if you're drinking questionable tap water obviously um, that's the first one and the second would be your puddle your toilet water whatever you can get a hold of um, so good to know um, so the main should be nice and warm. Get the water off it. Um, now I did translate that. Um, oddly enough, it's veal, which I've never seen in a ration before. Um, out of all the ones I've reviewed, I've never seen a veal meal before. Um, but uh, there it is. And yes, it's nice and warm, and it's kind of burning my hands a bit. But uh, we'll just put some in here. Because uh, it is a 400 gram uh, main. So it is huge. Um, See, we have green beans, carrots, peas, and uh, huge chunks of veal. It smells pretty good. Uh, the veal is obviously falling apart. That tastes a lot like beef stew.
but I also understand now why they give you four grams of salt, because that has absolutely no seasoning to it. Give that a stir. Try it again. That definitely makes it pop. Um, yeah, very solid. Um, would it be like a Campbell's chunky beef stew soup, maybe? Yeah, that that's chemical tasting. Uh, anyway. Are 43% cocoa salad, dark chocolate. Uh, yep, she's bloomed. Nice snap, looks good on the inside. Hmm, mm hmm. Fairly sweet, but it's good. Our Happy Dent gum. Uh, obviously, it's a stick, not a chiclet or. block brick, whatever you want to call them. Ooh. like a Wrigley's like a double mint gum it's not super pepperminty but pretty good and our original flavored hulls <laughs> yeah that's exactly what that tastes like Paul's gun. Anyway, um, that is our 12 hour, not eight, 12 hour um, menu number two uh, individual combat ration from the Portuguese army. Um, so I'll just wrap this up and uh, do a quick way and uh, we're done. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Time for a weigh in and uh, we'll be out of here. Handy dandy scale. Our garbage. Uh, about 110 grams. Or uh, just about four ounces. So not too much. Um, there's a quick addendum. Um, apparently not. Everything was trying to foil me today. And yeah, easy peel. Uh, which I, of course, didn't see until I was cleaning everything up. Anyway, uh, that was a uh, Portuguese combat ration. Individual, 12 hour, menu two. I'm Bourbon Street Joe, and I'm out. Bye.